summer in the Egyptian city of Alexandria. Once, this harbour was the centre of trade and learning throughout the Mediterranean Sea. Its famous library had no equal, and its then lighthouse was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Both the Greeks and the Romans conquered this prized city, but Alexandria is now thought to be at risk from far more powerful forces. This water lapping at the shores could threaten its very existence. Well, this, is, this is the main point because, you know, most of the people here will be asking about the impact of climate change. Professor Salah Solomon of Alexandria University is organising a special documentary screening. While global warming is a hot issue in the West, it hasn't been high on the policy agenda in the Middle East. But Professor Solomon is on a mission to bring Al Gore's message to the attention of his fellow Egyptians. مش لان احنا مهتمين او عايزين نهتم بيه ولكن كل الدراسات اللي هي اصبحت يعني مؤكده بتقول ان مصر واحده من الدول الاكثر عرضه للاثار السيئه اللي هتحدث من تغير المناخ انا بدعو حضراتكم كباحثين ان احنا بس ناخد رحله من اسكندريه global warming not only increases precipitation worldwide but it also relocates the precipitation. Much and of the West's focus, focus is preoccupied with the effect of climate change on their cities and their way of life. The Netherlands, one of the low countries, absolutely devastating. But it's the developing countries that are tipped to be the worst affected by rising sea levels. Egypt is being now considered as one of, of the most three countries going to be attacked or affected by climate change. In 2007, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change pinpointed the top three regions in the world that will be worst affected if global sea levels rise. They are the delta areas of the Mekong River in Vietnam, the Ganges Delta in Bangladesh, and the Nile Delta of Egypt. It has some Egyptians seriously concerned. أكيد إن ده زي ما بيأثر زي ما بيأثر عندنا هيأثر على جميع الدول وإحنا كلنا بنا تعاون فكلازم نخاف كلنا على بعض فده له تأثير كبير علينا هيأثر على المستقبل قدام وعلى التطور وعلى كل حاجة. Studies have estimated that if the global ice caps do melt. Sea levels could rise between 50 centimetres to 1 metre within the next 50 to 100 years. This is the predicted effect of just a 50 centimetre sea level rise on the Egyptian coast. It would displace more than 10% of Egypt's population. I would estimate, uh, you know, something between 5 and 6 million people. Would have to move? Yes. Yes, they would have to move. Dr. Muhammad Al Ray is a professor of environmental physics and an advisor to the Egyptian government on climate change. His studies have shown that if sea levels do rise, much of the low lying Nile Delta region would be inundated. This whole area is uh, a very low uh, elevation uh, between zero elevation and perhaps uh, one or two meters. In particular, there are several areas uh, near Alexandria, east of Alexandria, uh, which is below the sea level. East of Alexandria are the fertile agricultural regions of the Nile Delta. This rich alluvial soil is where the majority of Egypt's food is grown. It's crucial for feeding the country's 80 million people. But as salty seawater leaches into these low-lying agricultural areas, Egypt could face serious food shortages.
طبعا زي ما احنا شايفين ديت يا استاذ احمد بالنسبه للارض هنا في نسبه البياض اللي هو اللي معمول دوت من أس من من مرور الميه المياه اللي هي المالحه Muhammad comes from a family of farmers in the Nile Delta. He says that over the last few years, higher sea levels have already begun to make parts of the land infertile. وغير صالح للزراعه، ده كان زمان كان الارض زراعيه، وبعدين لما المياه بتاعت البحر بتنزل فيها على طول كل سنه على اساس هي ارض واطيه وغير قابله للزراعه فبتزيد نسبه الملوحه فيها. These days, in order to grow vegetables, local farmers have to remove the top layer of salty soil and replace it with good soil from another area. To give intag, for عشان كده عشان أعمل كده لازم أجيب كركات ولوادر وجرارات زراعية علشان تشيل الرمال من الأرض وأبدأ أعلي بها الأرض وأبدأ أزرع وأصلح جزء بجزء. Egypt's water problems are not confined to the coast. For thousands of years, the fresh water of the River Nile has sustained life in Egypt and kept the sands of the Sahara at bay. But global warming could drastically impact the rainfall that supplies water to the Nile. Water levels in the river could drop up to 70% in the next 50 years. The country is dependent totally on uh, 95%, if not even more than 95%, on the water from the River Nile. So uh, uh, it's, it would have a very serious impact on uh, the population, very serious impact on uh, the development of the whole region. Faced with such catastrophic scenarios, you'd think Egypt would be doing everything it could to lower its greenhouse gas emissions. However, even if all these Egyptians started riding bikes tomorrow, it wouldn't make much difference. Hundreds and thousands of cars jam Cairo's streets every day, and the air here is filled with smog and pollution. But when you look at the overall figures for worldwide greenhouse gas emissions, Egypt's contribution is tiny. As a country, Egypt contributes only about 0.5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. In comparison, the United States contributes around 22% of the world's emissions. That's about nine times as much per capita than Egypt. Egypt, uh, from the beginning, Egypt uh, realized the uh, threatening coming from the climate change. Dr. Al Sayed Sabri Mansour uh, is the chief Egyptian. advisor to the Egyptian environment minister. He doesn't think it's fair that Egypt is paying the price for the excesses of others. Those who are historically responsible on these emissions and on this global warming, they, they have uh, to uh, cooperate and they have to assist the developing countries who has no share or very small share in emissions, and they are in the, in the same time, they are among the most vulnerable uh, countries by the climate change impacts. In Alexandria, for some, the sea is still seen as a source of entertainment rather than concern. But slowly this great civilization of the past is beginning to look to the future, albeit a very uncertain one. <laughs>